Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so in our last episode, we, um, well, continuing to move forward with different oddities. Um, the oddity here, uh, it's gonna work. It's not gonna work, I don't think, as well as I wanted it to. And I'm gonna have to try a few different things once we get into orbit. Uh, one of the things was pointed out was, is if I'm not using multi-grid projectors, I'm gonna have to work on how I'm going to project this. So, the one on the other side is going to be on hold until further notice, but and the other side of it is, is just not to do the rotored version, but just flat out just have solar panels going along the side, and uh, that might end up being the short-term solution. The long-term solution would be convoluted and maybe not better. <laughs> So if I do entire, like, an array of these, it would have to be completely different. I want it to look good. All right, now I think it looks pretty cool. But, mm, yeah, work on process. Oh, uh, in other news, uh, the same idea. I, I'm really liking for the fact of being able to just literally strap a bunch of guns on in this place. So looking forward to that. <laughs> Uh, turning this into a multi-role vessel based on a couple of projectors and a whole bunch of uh, possibilities. Between episodes, I was able to get uh, these built. They're not plumbed yet. That's why there's not all the holes are in them. So both of them are built. And yeah, it's just a matter of getting them plumbed in with, with weaponry. So, between the oddities and everything else, like I said in the last episode, I want to try to work on getting this thing self-sufficient and mobile. And to go to that effect, the next thing I want to work on is going to go right about here. In the YouTube series, or not YouTube series, the Twitch series I did with Nerd, um, we were building ships that ended up getting crushed a lot. And those ships had this thing that we built in every, into every single one of them called the coffin. And this little wonder is an isolated bit of structure. I do something like this that well, you hide inside of. So if you're in combat, your flight control, your med bay, everything that's super important to what you're going to be doing is inside of this. And I think what I'm doing isn't going to work. So I think what I'm going to do... Hmm. So it's going to be too tall because it, it doesn't have to hold a lot. It just literally has to hold, you know, a, a cockpit and a med bay, right? So, but again, it's built out of heavy armor just like the rest of the ship is. Okay. And they proved time and time again to be very efficient at keeping us alive. Uh, Nerd and I have a pretty consistent record of crashing things. And many, many, many times we would crash and live. So, so that's the center. Plus two. Plus two. All right. And how? And then go with the... I'm actually tempted to use this so I can plumb it in. So if it is something like that, I can poke a hole right above it. Be 
because I have this bracing up here. But now the piping are coming across anyway for all the shenanigans over here. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. And then, hold on. I can do something like... Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Like that. Okay. So if that's there, uh, let's put the med bay... Uh, about here. Actually, I'm going to do... Let's go unorthodox. Do something about like that. Yeah. And, of course, I messed up my toolbar. I haven't done that in a minute, so... Okay. So now that can get piped in to here and there. We don't have to worry about having um, ventilation inside here because this will just be piped. So we'll get that initial bit of atmosphere every single time. And I like that idea. So also let's go ahead and get uh, cargo access as well. Yeah, I like that. So I can put a T here. Will that be a T? No, that won't be a T. Um, let's take a look at which directions. Well, you get three points of contact on a T, so that's just not going to work, Havoc. So we're going to have to use that guy. Not a big fan of this thing, but because we're not getting the actual vanilla conveyor junction. So if this doesn't make the blueprint cut, then we'll put the de facto this guy in when it does make the cut later. So let's get over to here. Back to, yep. And we're gonna go that way for a T. Oof, you can come right off of there, huh? Good. We're going to do this. Yep, I like it. And then we're going to do that. And then this. Okay, so that should all be piped in now. So that goes into there, up through there. I'm also going to take and tie it in here. Yeah. Now I'm in the way, aren't I? Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's not a thing. Okay. Uh, when you thought a thing was a thing and it wasn't a thing. Self-doubting thing creation. Okay, so you're going to go there now. Inventory you're going to go here. Here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do this. I do. Okay, let's continue to keep building to make this thing happy. You. You. Yep. Nope, you're out. So we're going to go that direction. All right. Would have been nice if I would have moved this whole thing back one block. Mm, 
Well, such is life. Say la vie, right? Alright, so let's get this part hooked up. We'll match it. 90, 90, so three 90s and a T. Ninety, ninety. Why is that not working the same way? Oh, because it's over a block further. Okay, so we're gonna have to do. What are you? Then back to a ninety. Why does this not seem right? Oh, because I did these two wrong. Stands out now when you get everything in place. Okay, so you're going to like that. And continue on over here. One block shy. So we can 90 it. Like so. Alright, like it. That'll work. Let's get up top, make it a little bit easier to make the shenanigans work. Boom. There we go. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's going to work. Okay. So that section needs work. There. Done. So that nacelle is plumbed. This one will be when I get around to it. Okay. So then we're going to get into here and everything's going to run that way. It's going to run up top uh, to the midsection to go to different layers of uh, stuff and things. All right. So let's get back over to here. And we're going to go super simple and a little bit of uh, a little bit nothing like I said super simple just keep it keeping it simple okay and anything that's like mission critical that needs to survive is going to go in here um, in fact instead of this I'm going to put a bob there I even put type to Bob. Okay, so Bob is going to go here. He's going to be our inventory. Do we do two in here? Says we can. Actually, I'm going to put that container back. And this can be our immediate super important storage we can put things in here that are mission critical let's say uh bottles a uh, set of elite tools enough stuff to build a bob um things like that can all go into that all right then uh what else is mission critical projector the main projector that is going to keep the blueprint on. So I put one here and one here. So for now, turn you on. Okay. I didn't know projectors made noise, by the way. That freaked me out one of the first times I heard that. Okay. Um, what else? I, I would want to... Oh, that's wrong. I would want to put... Uh, oh, actually. Yeah. I'm going to do this. So uh, what I'm going to say is I want to put um, gyros in there, but that isn't going to work because there's not enough room. One gyro is not going to help this thing. 
at all. But I'm, I'm not even going to bother. I usually like facing them. But uh, I'm not even going to bother. I need so many of them. Oh, a battery in there wouldn't hurt, right? Some some form of power. That wouldn't be too bad. So let's go back to seven. Um, let's see, we can get to here. We can get underneath here, so I can put a battery here. But it's a horrible thing. I don't think a battery is going to save us. But uh, it can keep like the correct antenna on. It can keep the life support on. Stuff like that. So mission critical stuff. Oh, well, once we get the AI block, yeah, that can be totally a thing. Like if uh, no power or whatever, then yeah, we can have this kick on only if. We can do if statements. And I think that is actually where we're going to wrap this thing up is because anything outside of that, I am going to want to... Um, yeah, I'm going to want any space we have available to go towards those AI blocks because those are going to become mission critical, right? So go, we'll do this. We need a door on it. Actually, we don't need a door, but I'm going to put one on it anyway. And... It looks horrible. I don't like it. Uh, let's get back over to here. That work? That's okay. I'm not going for airtight. Just to be clear. Because we don't need to. We have a cockpit. Alright, so we have the CIC now, a battle helm. Alright, so my goal between this episode and next episode is to get all these thrusters in place, and it's going to be a lot of them. It is, <laughs> it's a daunting task to say the least, but... Like I said, with shenanigans that I did between episodes, I know that these thrusters here keep this thing aloft in its current state. So a few azimuth thrusters to give it a, that little bit of oomph will well, and, and should be able to, to get us to where we need to be. So I appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the channel. It's fantastic having you guys be here. We passed 2,500 subscribers as of making of this video. And, uh, yeah, it's all because you guys like the content. And with that, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment. Links for dis Discord and Twitter and all the other social medias are in the down there. So, again, thanks for being here. This is Havoc. Have fun. And keep gaming.